Hello you guys and welcome back to another story time. If you guys remember in our last story time, we were talking about Pepper and how we found him a few months ago because he fell out of his nest when a big storm came in. And well, because we loved birds, we had to keep him safe. We tried to find his mom, we gave him food, we gave him love and comfort, and he was just a baby chick that came to our house. We named her Pepper. She was the best bird ever. We had to dig up worms and insects for him to eat because he was really hungry. We took Pepper outside to see if his mom is brave enough to come down and take him. But the mom didn't understand that he was a tiny chick. He doesn't know how to fly and we just gave him food. First, because we saw him down on the floor, we tried to put him up back in his nest. But then, because he was clumsy and jumpy, he fell back down. So we put him in a box. And after that, we tried to put him back up and then he fell once more. So we just kept him in the box and as my sister said, we fed him worms. Pepper was one of the loving birds. He stole our hearts! I remember the very first day that we brought him home. He was still trembling. Day two, he was all jumpy and he was so curious. Day three though, he already knew us. And so he already was trusting us because he knew that we were going to feed him. And he was getting ready to fly. He was like stretching those wings. Pepper really liked being in my arms and cuddle. He was really warm. I liked when Pepper opened his beak because it was cute and yellow. I liked that as well, sister. His beak was bright and yellow. I also liked feeding him some worms. When he opened his beak, as you said, it looked so cute. And even when he ate, he tried to, I don't know, swallow that warm up. Pepper already knew us, and he also knew our house. Some time passed, and then he started learning to eat by himself. We practiced this all the time. My dad even built Pepper a new stand. He would always stay there, watch us do our homework, and make sure we did not break anything. He also knew how to tell her our mom. Pepper was a really good company. He loved to play with us. Yep, that's true. He loved playing with us outside, indoors, honestly, wherever. He would always be with us, and we would always be with him. And as you said, sister, he was really great company, and he was one of the best friends that I've ever had. And sometimes I just imagine what little birds think inside his head. Man, little birds are awesome. We had Pepper for three months, from a little chick to a junior. And well, he was starting to get domesticated. He couldn't fly. He was starting to become into a pet bird, meaning he would just stay in the house for his the, the rest of his life. And well, because he was a free bird, we all decided to investigate and 
research about a place that um, gets the animals ready so they could be free in the wild and they could be like wild animals because that's what Pepper really was. He was a wild animal and he needed to be out in the wild. So that's why we researched about this place and well, this is where we're heading now. We took Pepper in a box so we could go to the wild animal shelter. There they are going to take care of him. They're going to feed him. And they're going to show him how to live in the wild. It was not easy taking this decision because as we said we loved Pepper so much and it was very hard to let him go but then we realized that he would be much more happier outside in the wild being a animal a wild animal flying free and um, probably even having babies because it was a girl so we took this decision because we loved Pepper so much Sister, don't be sad. Think that Pepper's gonna be happy and free. I know, sister, and we're gonna miss him so much as well because, as we said, he was very loved. I will miss him too, playing and having fun together, spending time together, give him food, and pet him. It was so fun playing with him. Yeah, I'm also going to miss his company. When I, when I would do my homework, he was always there. He was my best friend. Sister, do you know what was the best thing? Tell me, sister. That we learned that beautiful experience of taking care of a bird, um, making sure he was nice and healthy, and just keeping him alive that was the best experience i had with him i agree with you sister well we have finally arrived
make you cry. For even if I'm far away, I hold you in my heart. I sing a secret song to you each night we are apart. Remember me, though I have to travel far. Remember me each time you hear a sad guitar. No. Give my life away Never leave me, never let me 